I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Check, check, check. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat. We gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Yeah, gang, gang, gang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Uh, I got some got some things to talk about. You know, um, you have Street Star Norbs. You have the Ultimate Rap League. And if you haven't seen or haven't heard, um, they're going back and forth now. Well, let's just, I want to take a couple steps back. So, you have Norbs, right? And I know people may have the way they feel about him for whatever reasons. That's not what this blog is really about. Uh, but he was one of the creators, one of the innovators, one of the starting forces of the Ultimate Rap League. He was not an employee. He was a business partner, right? You, we got this, right? So um, Norbs was one that found a lot of talent. He definitely helped set up a lot of cards. He definitely had a hand in the development of that talent. A, a lot of people, I mean, you can go a lot of fucking names. Norbs was around for uh, all of the Proven Grounds classes. Without Norbs, we wouldn't know about a lot of MCs. That's just a fact. Let's just get that out the way, right? Um, he found a lot, I mean, I, I could, if I was to go and break down every single talent he found or had a hand in, this blog would be probably an hour or two long, and we don't want to do that. We we definitely want to um, we want to keep this thing moving. So, throughout his career on the Ultimates Rap League, um, we know he's had ups and downs. You know, he's had moments where he's done really good things, and he's had other moments where things happen that were questionable. We all have ups and downs in lives, and I'm not here to judge anyone for anything. Um, I will say this, Norbs was very influential in finding a lot of people. Norbs found me. I told people a long time ago, well, I've been saying it often that Norbs is the very first person that told me after I did like a couple videos, you know what I mean? It wasn't really like no big blogs and nothing, but just some random videos about battle rap. He told me that I should get involved with the battle rap and, you know, then I went and did War Report, left War Report, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let it not get too far ahead of you. So, his influence on battle rap and battle rap culture could never be taken away. Now I understand, um, you know, throughout his time, there have been people who just didn't like him for whatever reasons that they had, and I get it. So this all came to a head, February 28th, 2020, um, the event that, URL Genesis event. Uh, you had Geechee Gotti battling against New Jersey Twerk. Charlie Clips, K. Sean, John, John, Chess, Arsenal, T. Top, Rum Nitty, Jerry West in Atlanta, and you had the uh, incident where New Jersey twerk and Norbs got into the fight. Well, not really the fight, kind of like you know beatdown over everything that we already know about. So um, after that, you had a URL with a wedge in the middle. People were saying, "What are you going to do? Are you going to keep Norbs around? Are you going to let him go? What is the case?" So they come out and release a statement letting norbs go and this statement you know it was kind of like a bam boom kicking you out the whip we're moving on and then the funny the crazy thing was this is around the time caffeine starts getting involved and like i said i'm speaking from an unbiased perspective like i don't have no stake in either side like norbs do what he do url do what they do all i need for the niggas to do is just keep putting out battles i don't want to i'm not part of any entity my shit is self-controlled i'll get into that a little bit later so Norms gets kicked out of the whip, and basically he's put out with nothing. So the company continues to move on, but Norms has always said in his blogs or whenever he does radio, my business partners, my partners, my brothers, my partners. That's how he always referenced all of URL, whether it be Smack, Beasley, Chico, whatever. Kid, my partners, my part. It was never an employee employer relationship like an employee employer relationship like if you work for a company working for that's an already established entity right if you work for a company they can fire you you know what i'm saying you work for a construction site let's say you work for williams construction let's just call it williams construction you work for william you get hired as a site manager for williams construction that is the entity you are employed if you do a bunch of fuck shit and williams construction wants to let you go 
then it's your, you know, it is what it is. They can let you go. But if you help build Williams Construction and y'all are partners in the company together, I don't even know how this, how, how this went over so many people's heads. But if you guys are partners in the company and the company expands and grows and y'all become an empire, the guys that built the company together, one can't say the two of us don't like you no more, you're fired. It's a bargaining. You have to have an agreement to let one go. There's severance pay. In the NBA, they even have buyouts. In the NBA, there's buyouts. Like, so for instance, if said player is performing below their contract value, uh, let's just say, who's been bought out? A lot of people have been bought out. Uh, when Amari Stoudemire wasn't playing good anymore, or, you know, let's say a Chandler Parsons, he's been hurt for a couple years now. If a team doesn't feel like you're performing up to your contract's value, you can be bought out. Hey, we'll buy you out. Carmelo was bought out of his contract, but now he went to the bubble and he caused trouble and now he's doing his thing. But you can be bought out of your contract, which means they pay you a certain amount and then you're out of the contract with no obligation to the company. So, Norb said, um, well, he put out a screenshot. Well, he, he obviously he had to put this screenshot out. And it's, uh, you know, his name is on it. He's saying the plaintiffs are Smack, Beasley, Chico. You know, this is all public records, verified, jury documents, whatever the case may be. But he uh, texted and said, I'm suing because I was never bought out as a partner. They never made an offer and tried to say we, they tried to say we were going to come up with a number and never did. I agreed to a buyout. They dropped that letter without my consent. Basically saying that, they agreed to a buyout, there was no buyout, and he basically got kicked out the whip with nothing after helping create this whole entity. Now, a lot of people can say, you know, the, the, the bullshit that Norbs did in any form or fashion, up and down the realm, was the reason why, or it wasn't good, they didn't want to be in business with him no more. But if he has, here's, here's, the, here's the burden, right? The burden of proof lies with the uh, prosecution. You know, y'all, I know a lot of y'all, I know a lot of y'all niggas been to jail, been to court. The burden of proof always lies with the prosecution. If you, the, 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 even though the defendants have to defend themselves, the, you have to be proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You have to prove this. So if he can prove that he was told that he was going to be bought out or they was going to agree to a number and that didn't happen, he already has a case without even, so with everything included, like, you know, as far as helping start the organization, the company, building it up, whatever it can, and these are, some of the things I do know is that Norbs made cards, Norbs scheduled events, Norbs found venues, Norbs scouted town. He did a lot of shit, positive, like we got rid of the negative, cool. But a lot of the shit that he did do, he helped. Like that Born Legacy that was in Cleveland, that was his event. The Born Legacies down in Tampa, those were his Born Legacy series was his. The one where Ab battled Rum Nitty, I remember him booking Ab and Rum Nitty. Uh, mad battles, you know what I'm saying? So now he's at a point where he's like, I'm suing. And what? And what was y'all like? A lot of people was like, No, I wouldn't sue. I wouldn't sue. But if if, if motherfucker had you in a company, made a bunch of money, and then kicked you out the whip. A lot of y'all would change y'all perspective. So that leads to corporations and businesses, especially in battle rap. When it comes to battle rap, like these companies, all the, whatever, whether it be media or whether it's a league or whatever the case may be, it's important that if you can to have your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Rice Gang, I created that. That's my creation. I own it 100%. It's trademarked. Everything here is all. I own all of this. You know what I'm saying? Now. Showtime SP is my partner. We work together, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if he wanted to go tomorrow and be like, you know what, I'm out. He could do that, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's a company that I built, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's helped me as far as with the product, with the blogs and things like that. And he definitely is compensated. But at the same time, I developed it. So it wasn't like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, so it's kind of like back to the construction thing. It's my company, he works for the company, but if he ever wants to leave, he can leave because we didn't come in, like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, this is why I refer to what I refer to. But he's Showtime's SP still around, he's still on board, we're still working together, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none get ahead of you. He's definitely um, been an important and vital part of what goes on here, which is why he's compensated. And in the battle rap thing, I always mention like, I paid dues, but I never got paid. I like when I, I never made 
a single dollar off a of battle rap until I did it on my own. No matter where I was ever at or no matter who I was ever with. And that's when I realized that the only way you're gonna make bread is if you do it on your own because everybody's so focused and fixated on what they got going on that they'll, they'll, they'll let you do things but they're not gonna pay you, you know what I'm saying? And it was never a thing to even get paid. They looked at it like, oh, we don't get paid for this. This is just what we do, this is a hobby. But there's a lot of money to be made in battle rap. I think Daylight said the other day that Firefly makes 95% more than Daylight. Don't be putting my business. Don't be putting my business out there. But um, back to the Norbs thing. Uh, if he helped create this company, which he pretty much did, he scouted talent, uh, he built events, he helped build a brand and build an entity, and was told that he was going to be given something and wasn't, then by all means, why wouldn't he sue? You know what I'm saying? Like, like business is business at the end of the day. Now, if the brand URL has a, a legitimate reasoning to say that he was bad for our business and he was bringing our business down and there was no contract or no agreement amongst us, then they probably have a way to wiggle out of it. They can be like, you know what? Like, morally, it might not be the best thing, but at the end of the day, if they feel like we don't, we don't owe you nothing, then that's one thing. But he definitely has paperwork and he's definitely standing on the fact that he should have been compensated or given some, even jobs have severance pay. Like if you get put off your job, they pay you some kind of severance package to kind of like keep you afloat. That's when companies give a fuck about you. But battle rap, a lot of these leagues and a lot of shit is ran like drugs, like dope houses. These niggas is like, they don't want to, a lot of companies don't want to pay. They want work, they don't want to pay. They want you to go from state to state, running all around, spending your own bread, just to be in front of cameras and shit. That's why for me, it, the, the, the most I ever made was in front of my own camera, at my own studio, in my own place. So for me, the, the, the game is fun, the industry is cool, but from a business perspective, it only makes sense to push your own entity because when you're working for somebody, they can kick you out the whip. Um, Norbs was not an employee. He stressed that in the messages that he sent me. He, was, he said he was a partner, he was not an employee. So, with that being said, I'm gonna let y'all get to y'all weekend, man. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think. Norbs is taking URL to court. Fuck the judge, fuck the jury when you warrant with me. It's people's court, we hold court in the street. I gives a fuck about the DA when you see Jay. It's crazy. Uh, you would have hoped that it could have ended on better terms, especially if they were letting them go. And I understand, let me just say this, right? At the time, of the New Jersey twerk and Norbs situation. Um, Norbs is one of the, I mean, was the, the, the lead recruiter. He found New Jersey twerk, he helped brand him and all of that. And New Jersey twerk is like one of the bigger stars. Whether up, down, whatever the case may be, his name is pushed, he's got the big machine behind him. So if the line is drawn in the sand and something happens between LeBron and one of the scouts on the Lakers and they get into a fight, they're gonna probably go, and especially if it's morally wrong, they'll probably go with the talent over a scout because they can find a scout at any time. But if it's like the GM's cousin or, G or assistant general manager or some shit like that, they're not gonna let that slide. The players gotta go. And I don't think, and, and for Norbs to be released via a statement, you know, and he wasn't compensated, he said they put the statement out without his consent. They probably should have saw eye to eye. But like I said, battle rap shit is ran like drug. These niggas run this shit like a fucking dope hole. You know what I'm saying? I'm surprised these niggas don't go to meetings with gats on them and shit, man. But anyway, you already know what it is, man. Salute to all parties involved. I got no say in it. Gang.